Hey everybody, I'm David Marcel and this is my comic book obsession. And today we're looking at Motug Heads, Dark Dimensions' sister company. Now you remember I visited Dark Dimensions last week where I picked up these little guys. And today I'm taking a look at where they make their custom heads. Dominic Leonhard founded Dark Dimensions in 1999. It was a labor of love. It was the store he always dreamed of as a kid. And while working in this store, he realized that a lot of people love the Masters of the Universe Classics line, and that a lot of people wished there were more characters. That's when he decided he was going to do something about it. I painted for tabletop games many miniatures, yep. and I, con I connect that with my fable for the action figures, right. and then I start to make my own figures. Most go, go to USA. Yep. We have many um, customers in Italy and French. That's really cool. You know in India some crazy guy plays with your, with your toy line, with your uh -huh. toys, and that's really cool. We make uh, armories. We make heads. We make all this stuff that uh, Super 7 or Mattel not makes. Okay. We listen to the fans. What is what is uh, what you want? Right. What which character they don't exist and that not possibly that anybody make that. Right. Or we create our own stuff. Like this uh, is a snake armor. Yeah. The the principle is the is the same. That we um, sell painted stuff. Yeah. Also we sell not painted stuff because okay. many persons they are their hobby they modeling they painting and they like to do her own thing about these figures right among classic characters like the snake men dominic leonhardt also offers some other figureheads there's the obligatory halloween line which brings out a pumpkin head every year there's some of the more obscure characters like the fuerza t characters which was an Argentinian bootleg series based on the Masters of the Universe action figures. What we do in the last year is uh, the Sectors toy line. That was a great, great, great toy line in the 80s. Yeah. I love them. And uh, that was only eight figures. We have all eight original characters. Yeah. Bring what we want to do with this year is and we want to do some characters that are only exist in the comics. The this, the big battle beasts they have, they have yeah. flies and arachnids. Yeah. And uh, there was the the clue was uh, when you was a child, you have you have a glove that you can put your hand in, mm -hmm. and you can make uh, that to be the legs. Now you want to um, make a display with them that, yeah. that looks like a dead buck. Yeah. And what we do, we have uh, modeling the the legs. Mm -hmm. You can have a, a set of legs. You can put your this glove away. Take the legs on, and you can display them cool in your wow. in your in your displays. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Now there are three different kinds of conversion kits. The first, being the light or easy kind, is basically you just need to put another head on the figures. For all all the persons know many faces. That's the, yeah. the actor from Eternia. You can yeah. change his head to a robot, to a monster, or to a human. Yeah. And we have a. Uh, play with, with, with this thing and we make uh, some DC hat. Oh, there's a Batman, that's Batman, a Joker, and a Two-Face. Two -face. Now these heads, they're made for the Masters of the Universe Classic series by Motu, which is where the name Motu Heads comes from. And these heads, they have a little socket for the ball joint, which is usually a little bit looser. This is because Dominic Leonhard has found out that if you constantly switch heads, it does tend to take a toll on the ball joint. So he prefers to keep it a little looser and to ship you some putty along with the figurehead. This way you get a bigger range of motion and you don't damage your figure. The simple modification kit also comes with accessories. Wilcher Man, we have a cool conversion kit. You only yeah. need uh, a Sodak figure. Sodak, you have this uh, collar with this... Uh, feathers? Yeah, with mm -hmm. feathers. You have two weapons, you have the head. Then there's the second kind of figure modification kit. This requires you to switch out some arms and some legs as well. And this basically requires a small radiator to heat up the figures to make the plastic more pliable. It's an intermediate level. It does take a little bit of skill. And then there's the third level, which is pretty much for, well, from my point of view, more hardcore modifiers. Because for these conversion kits, you not only need to switch out some body parts, but you also need to paint some stuff. And, well, I just don't have the fine motor skills for that, so uh, I'd probably stick to the first and the second modification kits. But, you know, 
For people out there who love to paint, who love to really get into their figures to customize them, this is the option for you. All of Motuhead's figures parts are hand painted and hand sculpted. So there's a ton of love and a ton of attention to detail that goes into each and every individual piece. You can tell that Dominic Leonhardt just loves this and he wants to do something awesome for the fans. So there you have it, that's Motu Heads. Be sure to visit them on Facebook. I've left you the link down below. If you want to buy these, I've left you a direct link to their Motu Heads department on Dark Dimensions. Please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and if you've got some stories, if you've actually worked with Motu Heads, you know, done some modding of your own, let me know in the comments below. I'm David Marcel, this is my comic book obsession, See you next time!